And lift off. So we had such a great response to the last drone footage video that I felt obligated to share as much of it as I could. So I have a few videos from the same war, same pilot, same drone, and I wanted to uh, share the better ones with you. So I've been cherry picking them and re-watching them myself, which has been very, very enjoyable, and I want to uh, share this one with you. So if you notice that all of the players seem to be standing in pairs of two, that is not a coincidence. This is a game type that we really enjoy in the SCNC and the Southeast NIC scene called Wingman. And Wingman essentially is a basic 315 that's three lives with 15 second respawns per player but instead of getting a full team for a deathmatch type game you get one teammate uh, one ally to watch your back during reloads and help you flank other teams so you can see my team of course over here is Austin Austin being the good friend of the drone pilot Ben and uh, myself um, I'm using my Hades which is an Apollo with tactical accessories and I'm using 12 rounders in that. Those uh, accessories come to me from uh, my friend Avery from Custom 3D Nerf. So it turns it into a real shotgun, which is sweet. And as we fly over the other teams, I will try and describe them, but the action more or less describes itself. They are teams of two trying to eliminate lives from one another. So these are two newer players, and then here we have Aiden. Aiden is, uh, is a longtime member, and then Jesse of Project FDL, and I think he just waved at the drone. Straight cheese in Jesse, but that is an FDL-1, which fires mega darts and is a revolver. Over here, we're flying over the lovely Draculina and GameStop. GameStop is our sling fire hero, and the Draculina is, of course, my lovely miss. Now, down there, we have another Aiden and Jake. That's mini Aiden, uh, Jesse's son, so also of Project FDL. And then we're flying over Chicken with his hammer, and then this is, of course, Daniel with his full loadout. Load uh, my mistake, I think that the, the kid in the hat is actually Jesse's son. I can't watch this in the same quality that you guys can. My monitor is not nice enough. But uh, we just saw Avery of Custom 3D Nerf rocking his hula skirt, and the loadouts haven't changed since last video since more or less most people use the same stuff during the day. I'm really lucky and usually bring two or three primaries to flip through for the sake of getting interesting footage for you guys throughout the day. I don't always share all of it because it's not always exciting. So I try and, again, I, I cherry pick the best content to share with you guys to give you the most exciting look at this really wonderful hobby that I just love so very, very much. I think that Austin is goofing around. He's not the the wingman that i deserve he's the wingman that i need right now so this is me bunkering behind this tree and you can see in the top corner aiden is trying to to flank us and i think austin is goofing off with a titan that somebody left on the field but there it goes his, his titan rocket if we had splash damage rules you might have gotten him buddy and i think that i'm moving up i guess i decided that since fdl is not on him i will i will 1v1 aiden we are both using Rival, I think. No, he's got a he's got a Raven. And then Austin just dropped a life there with his sledge fire with attached um, chainsaw, zombie strike chainsaw. So let's zip on over to the other side of the field. I absolutely love that you can see the Phantom's shadow and kind of how it pauses when it tries to navigate some of these trees. Ben eventually did connect with one of these trees, tragically, but I think he's going to be at the upcoming war this weekend. So again, your feedback is super duper important to me. If you leave me enough feedback and watch these videos in a way that, that I know that this footage is going to be viable, I, I could actually support Ben and help him get his drone back online and get back out here uh, filming us because this is some of the most incredible footage of the hobby that I've personally ever seen. It's just very, very different from the usual first person view and in that way I think it's really special. It gives you a panorama of the action. So over Draculina and GameStop facing off against, you guessed it, uh, Austin and I. So I'm reloading the Hades to try and stop GameStop. His shield is actually very effective against rival rounds due to the floaty nature of them at range, but... What is the, the Draculina wielding? I'm not entirely sure. Looks like I had that weird half-prime hiccup that sometimes happens with this Apollo kit. Not the end of the world. Man, that's just so cool. I never get to see myself from that angle, so it's, it's really, really cool. Like in the, the least egotistic way that I can put that, like, to see yourself play, I'm sure it's what, like, actual athletes feel like when they get to see themselves on replays and kind of learn more about how they play and how they move. That's very, very cool. Another slightly selfish reason that I would love to be able to get more footage like this 
in the future. But field looks great. I still love that you can see darts and rival rounds just littering it. And here we are over Avery facing off against GameStop and another wide shot of just about everything. No, 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 we're gonna get bunkered. Ah, how does that work out for us? Looks like it could have been worse. I think I definitely lost a life there as I switched to my secondary though. Not 100%, this is of course pretty old footage in terms of uh, time, I think that it's three or four months old now at this point, so I don't necessarily remember the game specifically, but I do remember how much fun we had. The weather was beautiful on this day, and so the, the drone really got to fly around freely, and everybody was wearing pretty comfortable clothes, so just, just a really good war overall. And the attendance was really good. This match is uh, later in the day, so a few people might have taken off after, after burgers for lunch, but I think we still have a healthy turnout on this field, even for a, a later day. It looks like Avery just called a hit, and you can see him tactically reloading from his belt as Daniel walks away defeated. Um, counting 215, of course. Again, that is the game type. And then you can see there's Little Aiden, uh, Jesse's son with the FDL2, which fires magazines and is just as cool. It's just as hard as the FDL1. I think that, that Jesse is walking off the field and is not wearing his bandolier because he has been eliminated. And normally when that happens, he tries to hunt down all of his mega darts because he uses them more than anyone else. I think Chicken's going full hammer time this round. That's just kind of a testament to the caliber that, that of nerfer that Chicken is. He is very, very good. His spatial awareness and dodging is super high. He just sunk a lot of points into agility, so he can play with a melee weapon relatively effectively, especially if he has a good wingman. Chicken and I have, have pulled that duo before, and I will use something with slightly higher rate of fire, and he will use the hammer and flank. It can be really effective. Looks like Daniel is in full commando mode, giving orders to Little Aiden so that they can take out Chicken's team, perhaps? Not entirely sure what he's going for here, but also not entirely sure how much flight time the drone has left. So we might not get to see the absolute end of this match, and I personally don't recall who wins this match, but really I think that they all win just because they have lasted so very, very long by far outliving my team of goofy shenanigans. Uh, they have definitely earned their place here as the final six, so uh, they will duke it out, but we're going to park the drone and call it a day for this video, but thank you very much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and again, like, comments and likes on this kind of content really let me know that you would like more of this kind of content, and if not, comments letting me know what kind of war footage you prefer are very, very helpful as well. Much love, Nerf on, Drek out. Thanks for watching.